Hello and welcome to another MapleStory 2 video and today we're going to be talking about the wallet or the currencies that we have for the game. So going off with the three currencies that we're farming today is the Javi Fruit, Rue and Trevor. So what you do with Javi Fruit is you can only obtain them if you enter Dark Descent. So if you open up the Dark Descent you can see the possible rewards is Javi Fruits. Uh, you can only do these three times a week and you try you will try to get your score as high as possible try to survive as long as possible do not get hit or your score will drop uh, other than that good luck with that I think I haven't made a video of it yet um, but I will eventually make one uh, just to showcase how and how or what to do usually people are dying after the fifth run because the boss deals a lot of damage uh, but yeah there's not much to it just do this as your weekly you'll get your hobby fruit uh, for your currency now going off with Rue uh, Rue is based off all the daily quests that you're doing uh, from the Alicari merchant so oh, the open world boss in Queenstown has this uh, daily world boss quest that you can do every day you'll get Rue you can purchase uh, some buffs some items from the uh, merchant. So likewise with uh, Hobby Fruit, you can purchase this from Stonehill Dig site or from the Queenstown by the ferry. Now, going off with the main thing that I want to talk about is Trevor. So, Trevor is a currency that you earn for completing uh, Twisted Pocket Realm. And you may wonder what's Twisted Pocket Realm? Well, that's, um, that's a portal. Similar to the Hat of Misdirection, or was it Hat of Direction? Um, it's literally a portal that opens up in the world map. However, in this area for Twisted Pocket Realm, you need to be in the open world uh, PvP maps, uh, aka the Shadow World. So, killing mobs over there, you will open up portals and then you'll enter it. And you have to finish off the challenge, either breaking a tower, um, chasing some slimes and kill them, or you know, killing enemies or bosses that are really, really hard. But uh, if you do manage to kill them, you are getting rewarded with Treva. And with Treva, you can purchase a lot of good day stuff. So there's the navigator under the life skill uh, option. It will tell you what you can do at level 50 uh, or level 60. So gemstones is one of the most important things that we can do. And you may wonder, how do I get gemstones? Uh, I did mention you can get them through the uh, um, doing the keys or finding keys in open world do the uh, treasure dungeons abandoned mine b1 is the solo you can only get tier 1 if you do b4 you can get tier 2 and tier 1 box but you can also get accessories and armor reroller scrolls so doing keys is pretty good for tre treasure dungeon uh, you will get a lot of benefits of upgrading your character for end game uh, the other option over here is Twisted Pocket Realm, as I mentioned, open world, get enough of um, travel points and you can purchase a lot of goodie stuff. Uh, something else that's being recommended over here is Dark Descent, which I already covered up, I will probably make a video about it. Um, your daily quests, uh, which is in the Queenstown for now, I don't think there's any more, if there are, feel free to comment down below if there's something I'm missing out. Um, I do remember someone mentioned that there is a weekly hobby fruit or weekly quest for the Dark Descent or something like that, uh, or hobby fruit in general. Uh, I don't think that's available in our um, version, or they might have not implemented it yet. Um, other than that, it's your daily dungeons that you do 30 times a week. You can get pretty good loots for doing those, at least the hard, uh, hard dungeons. Now, going off to the world, I'm going to show you guys the zone where you can purchase with the Trevor. So you'll head over to Obsidian Mount, which is one of the maps uh, in um, the Shadow World or Land of Darkness. So you'll head over, you might spawn at healing spots, sometimes you spawn at the um, portals, but near the healing spot is a portal here. Going through here, 
will take you to the shelter and the shelter has the merchants where you can purchase uh, the important stuff um, so farming gemstones if you, if you don't want to do the keys and such if you don't have any luck with getting the keys you can get over here and trade for some uh, travel for um, gemstone boxes so you can only get tier 1 gemstones uh, B4 key is still the best way to get the uh, uh, tier, uh, tier 2 gemstones uh, but if you do want to farm tier 1 gemstones it costs 600 travel to open up one box of a gemstone box over here you can also purchase some dust boxes which we can cover up uh, with these dust boxes you can go to Tria in the middle of the town uh, you will be able to purchase something for 200k and combine with those gem dust and uh, craft a gemstone which is random uh, other than that I would say this is probably the most efficient way to not spend any money because you're just killing enemies at the same time you get the currency for Treva or another currency instead of Mesos so you can farm some gemstones over here uh, other things that you can buy over here for example is the gear you can buy some equipments they're not the best but you know it's meant to be for PvP as you can see the stun duration reduction is reduced you are getting a lot of defense but it's not uh, the greatest if you compare to other gear or at least the purple gear that we have so the only two unique is the um, outfit which looks pretty neat and the last one is the headpiece which gives you a pretty weird horn of your character and as for last you can get mounts so this requires you to spend some points into it uh, if you spend 30k Trevor you unlock all of these mounts but you also need to have 15k uh, to purchase these mounts uh, some of them are 7.5k depending on the rarity but for example you can get this nice looking uh, dragon or whatever you should call it reaver you can get some doggy and you can get the dragon that you can fly on and you can get the, uh, the what's it called fiddle now let's go off and uh, kill some mobs and I'll show you guys the twisted portal hopefully we'll get one quickly so the video doesn't go uh, over 10 minutes hopefully uh, it's gonna be random for whatever I kill and such it might be a random portal that um, be harder and give you less uh, give you more uh, travel for completing it or it might be an easy uh, twisted portal and it will give me uh, slightly less travel for completing it but uh, my objective here is usually I look for the red dots which indicates these uh, bubbled or shielded enemies uh, I think they have higher chance of summoning or spawning the portals but uh, it's easier way for me to actually look for enemies as well because I can just look at the map if there's any red dots so I can kill uh, a bunch of enemies you don't actually have to be in this zone um, Oh, seems like there's PvP action here. And he's running away. Oh, that bastard. Yeah, yeah, go away. No, he's gonna hide. Alright, <laughs> excuse me for... Um, getting off you know off track with this this is obviously open world pvp and um, yeah be careful of other people and you can check on the top right if there are any other players in your zone that person just uh, changed channel <laughs> so instead of calling them out you know cc please you know you you just uh, threaten them by trying to kill them uh, make them f or force them to switch channel uh, but yeah, there we go. There's a portal. Let's go in. We can make this... Uh, oh well, we can't make this under 10 minutes, but uh, we're going to get about 12 minutes out of it. So let's see. It's going to be randomized. And uh, we go, we get a... Sh oh, okay. So we get the Mimics, 
Namex gives you a pretty good, decent amount of money, but you also get, if you can kill them fast enough, you also get uh, 30 Trevor, I think. Yeah, 28 Trevor for that one. But um, it's a pretty decent way. Uh, you can skip this, but I feel like it's pretty good. You know, get some few Trevors here and there. Um, but sometimes it's not worth it. So in total, I got about 100 Trevor for this dungeon. And it's time limited on the uh, zone. So if you can't finish certain uh, objective or challenge map like this, then yeah, don't bother with it until you upgrade your weapons. So since we already went past the 10 minutes, we might as well showcase another dungeon or another portal. Hopefully we can get another one that's a little bit more longer and difficult. Uh, so we have some examples of what you can expect when you do twisted portals. Um, another tip is, oh, there we go. Another tip is when you see the blue bubble, that means it's weak against physical. And I think when it's a red bubble, it's weak against magic. So make sure to not waste all your skills and cooldown. So we got three enemies to kill. We got two minutes on us to actually kill three enemies. This should be a medium uh, challenge. I call them medium because it's not too hard, but also not too uh, easy as well. Uh, you do need to have the damage to finish them off. Uh, within two minutes, so this one is going to be slightly annoying. Uh, one of the reasons is this is a mini boss that you fought for your main story. Um, he also has the bubble, which requires me to attack only when he's on um, when he's on blue bubble. But now since he's flying around, I can't do a thing. There we go. Oh, he's back to red. And there's another dragon there. Yeah. You do want to pull them all together, try to kill them as fast as possible. Uh, let's see, yes, yes, do that animation. There we go. So you, get, you will get rewarded four of these. Uh, if you still have the time, you can get all of them. Uh, let's see how many I get over here. I get 30 Trevor for each box, it seems. It's well, well worth it. You get four boxes instead of you know getting randomized uh, number for doing low level um, twisted portals. But yeah, so in total I earned about three hundred uh, within twelve minutes, thirteen minutes. I got lucky uh, getting two portals, and uh, this is the way for you to you know efficiently farm some Trevor to farm gemstones. Um, but the best way is obviously trying to get keys uh, because you have a chance of getting tier 2 gemstone. So I wish you all good luck. If you can't beat this, you can bring your friends with you and enter these portals. However, the loot from the boxes is going to be divided because uh, it's only um, the, for the person that opens up the chests, of course. So if you can do this solo, then you get the most reward out of it. And if you are doing this, with the party, be make sure that um, you're not being too greedy or your friends are gonna get a little bit upset that you're hogging and uh, taking all the loots. Um, yeah. Let's do one more, one more portal. Let's make it uh, around 15 minutes of a video. Hopefully we get something new. But I'm probably gonna end the video once I'm done with this. We do get a save zone. Alright, so this one is the tower. I would say the tower is easiest out of the all. Uh, the reason for that is because you just have to kill the tower, but you are getting a lot of enemies on your ass to uh, kill. You are gonna take a lot of damage, so make sure to be prepared for that. Uh, as a berserker, this is not a problem, you can just lifesteal. Uh, make sure to kill the enemies though because they are gonna bother you when you are opening up the chest and you are still on time limit or, yeah. right. these uh, flute people is annoying so I have one minute on me I need to kill these fast so I can open them up without getting interrupted by the projectiles um, dead alright 
so one minute only to open up luckily we got something new for each portal this is a silver chest so it's gonna be not so great I'd say it's a medium uh, every time you see these type of um, challenge maps or portals it's a medium challenge and obviously the boss that you fight one versus one for four minutes is the uh, one that gives you the most, which is about 400 uh, if you finish the boss. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was a little bit more info, more uh, very information. Like there's a lot of information catching up, and you know, I hope this was a good way for me to showcase for those that are planning on playing for Endgame, or if you're done with your weekly or whatever, then this is an option for you to do and have fun. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, this was. Uh, um, something that was new for everyone because not many people are doing this at the moment anyways take care